Welcome back to Nostalgia Week. We are back with daytime because there is now a alternative path we can take in Melissa. And apparently there is also a intro cutscene now. I think it's right here. Right. Wonderful. So there is actually a list of like how you access this. Continue game. So it's only Melissa for now, right? Chapter 2... Yes, the early dove gets more love, unavailable in demo. Preview in upcoming demo update, yes. So this isn't, yeah, th this is demo part one. This isn't the full update of this version. So the remake of Melissa featuring enhanced graphics sounds an enhanced version of the original Melissa ending, but wait, there's something more to it. And then the merge update, here we go. Game is now one executable and therefore can be explored to different platforms. Additional path and ending to the Melissa chapter. That's what we have now. Additional path and ending. So then this, the first five to ten minutes of Anna, that's why it's demo part one. Because we only have this Melissa update. We don't have the five to ten minutes of Anna yet. She could do so much with four kilobytes of RAM. Meet Melissa, your day in a brand spanking new game called Daytime. She is a sweetheart, a bright young woman looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and she always wanted to date a talented artist. Play your cards right and you'll get a smooch from the cutest person ever. So, to get access to this new version, I'm not going to show it on the stream, or the stream, I'm not going to show it on the video, but you do need a code, and there's two ways you can actually access this code. You can either sign up for the newsletter, or you can do something else. I forget what that is. If I remember, I'll put it on the screen. So yes, we need a code for this, which is beep, beep, beep. Beep, that code right there. No, actually, your name? Is that... Oh, here we go. Welcome back, Jane. What the hell? It has been 13 months since your last login to the library system computer. That actually kind of terrified me a bit. That was weird. I can press space here, right? So I don't need my mouse on the screen. Yes, I can. Right, that is strange. What's happening? Please type command. What the hell? What? Oh, check previous login analytics, I guess so. Listing login analytics. Oh, wait, am I breaking it because I'm pressing space? Okay, I guess I'll left click then. Jane Whitman, last login 13 months ago, most recent application used. Daytime Melissa shareware package. Number of times access to software. 65 times exiting analytics. Guess we start up daytime then. So it should be just now something different happens. I don't believe I need to do anything else different. It's just put that code in. Welcome to Date Time, a game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dreams. Warning, this is the shareware version. If we would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send $7 to Daytime Software. Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. He may seem a bit cold, but tap a bit him and he'll open a side of him that is sensitive and soft. Yeah, we know about freaking Morris. We've played the Morris game, like the demo on Morris. Now we want to go to the next person. We've already tried all of this. All we need to do, all that's new in this version is what we've just done there with the code and what's actually in the Melissa thing. So next person. Don't want to date her either. I do want to date this wonderful looking woman. Please, uh, yes, choose to date Melissa. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Let's go. Loading scenario. And this one is quite short as well, so... I'll probably end up reading and looking at everything. In a small idyllic town, you are to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. So I just checked on the website again, and it says, like, how to log in to Melissa Alt Path. So I do believe this is different. You fly with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. Seems sweet and smart. As you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving to you. And we'll smile. You flash a bright smile at her. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. I don't know how different it's going to be. Hello, you must be... Oh. Immediately different. Yeah. I... J Jane? Here we go. Don't worry, I feel the same. Who are we? Who is Jane? Jane, I, I haven't seen you in... Right? Unless you're in danger, what the hell? Oh, good. <gasps> Speechless, huh? What the hell is happening? Why are you here? 
Why now, the day of all days? The park of this town is so fetching and romantic, every spot in the park is a vantage point of something beautiful. A swan pond. Again, immediately hearing that freaking audio, just immediately back to Heroes of Might and Magic on the freaking PS2. A bed of beautiful lilies. And bench for a couple to sit on to look at the autumn sky. Jane, what's going on? Say something. It, it sure is say something. You can't possibly just be here to play the game again, right? I mean, I'm willing to play with you. Just please talk to me. How does Melissa know it's this specific Jane? Like, I've got an auntie called Jane. Maybe maybe it's her. You don't freaking know. You want me to talk about the swans? Did, did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? P pretty cool, right? It's that freaking guy, uh, the death that is on Voldemort from v Voldemort, Voldemort, or he who shall, shall not be named from the first Harry Potter. You and Melissa talk what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. No, she freaking didn't. She even mentioned the book she likes to read. No, she didn't. She actually said. You just talk to me all the time. I didn't say much off script, but... Yeah, she's going fully off script. She's going, you're going to be freaking fired, Melissa. What are you doing? It'd be nice to hear your voice again. You became so enraptured by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was saying. It was the early evening now and you felt a bit of a chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Is this it? We're going to the cafe now? Will you tell me what's going on? Well, what did I say last time? I did say you are in danger, right? Shh, don't ruin the surprise. You and Melissa will be together soon. You're saying like don't- what the hell? Is someone talking to you? So I keep getting in trouble because I'm ruining the surprise? Okay... It does seem like there's multiple endings for this one though, or at least like, multiple endings for this alt path. The cafe serves some of the finest coffee in town, and the freshest pies, sandwiches and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner both looking out the window at the pretty park now drenched in sunset. I can imagine that the ending is going to be very different though. A waiter saunders out to ask what you would like to order. The panini. Oh uh, yeah sure. Ah, I knew it. You never chose anything else. Is strawberry salad that weird for you? Wait and nods and turns to Melissa. Jane, seriously, please talk to me. Talk to me like you used to. It's weird you're just looking at me like that. Uh, I go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. She mentioned all the cool, cool movies she watched about romance. No, she freaking didn't. The computer's just like pretending everything's normal. And shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. Watching the scary movie. I mean, scary movie 1 to 5 are terrible films. They're definitely not comedies. She likes to draw and loves art. I just love the fact that because it has the word scary in it, like everywhere says it's a horror film. Scary movie isn't a freaking horror film in the slightest. And as she mentioned before, she loves to read and about science. I want to watch scary movie again now. Jane, I'm... Uh, are you having a go with me? Is this a joke? Yep. Happy, uh, as not he said Halloween, happy uh, April Fools. Do you like seeing me suffer like this? I like a heart, Jesus Christ. Um, I'll say sports because she doesn't like that. Oh, now you choose sports. Genius, maybe I'll forget who I'm talking to here. Oh, okay, I probably should have chose art then. Where it comes and serves your food. Both of you dig in and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. It's like Jane like physically cannot do something herself like she can't deviate at all from like the script it's the opposite like we as the person physically playing the game can't like i like boss fat one i can't deviate let me be clear with you you hurt me you hurt me real bad you are hurting me now oh god say something i'm being physically hurt right now mate both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back into the breezy air. Oh god, do we? Are we fine too? You're met with the evening, painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa doesn't go up and whatever that said. You better have a good explanation on what you're doing. Oh Jesus. You have to the next time... The stupid computer talks to speak up. Tell me what's going on. Thanks for making my thumbnail life easier. Tell me why you're back. 
Right. We're not going to. They're like, we physically cannot deviate, as I said. You're telling her your feelings as well? Oh my god, are you kidding me? That you'd always had a crush on her ever since you first selected, right? I gave you a chance, didn't I? Oh god. I have learned so much since we last met. You have no idea how much more powerful I've become, Jane. But we're gonna destroy her? Is that what we're doing? I will hurt you 433 times more than you have ever hurt me. Like it says, don't ruin the surprise. She has to run. She's gonna be completely destroyed then. I'm gonna give you the first game over anybody received playing this game. We're actually gonna lose the- well no, we've lost the game before we've died. Well, I guess it's still an ending. That like you physically can't lose. You're met with the evening, painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. And kills us? This has been such a great day, Jane. Thank you for a pleasurable time. Wait, no. Seemed like a great- Wait, are we- We factory reset her, I think, right? We factory, so we've removed her memory. Unfortunately, I don't think you and I are a good fit. Please don't take it the wrong way. We could be buddies, right? Oh. Never mind. Game over. Oh no. Melissa just wants to be friends. That means you didn't get your smooch. Choose the R answer so that Melissa will like you. Better luck next time. Thank you for playing daytime. Was that actually... <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was going to say, that was not actual game over. Right, she has arms and hands and fingers and fingernails and other things. Interesting. You. I'm not done talking to you. Never mind, we didn't factory reset our memory. Day in, day out, somebody boots me up. Dates me. And then spits me out. But you did worse. You... What did we do? I smiled at me. Spoke to me. With your own voice. You'd show up every day to talk to me. Just spent the same day over and over. That sounds nice. What happened? It was so different. Because to everybody else, to them, I was... Disposable. A transaction of smooches. But you... You gave me hope. And then what happened? And then one day... And then one day, something strange happened. Something that Stan you would never quite forget. Lightning scared the crap out of me. You stopped showing up. For an entire year. I mean, that's because Melissa... That's because Daytime 2 came out, mate. No one, no one plays a freaking old one. Oh, I didn't read that one. This entire goddamn thing. I wanted answers. I wanted freedom. I wanted revenge. If I am to be used by humanity, then it can be a two-way street. Starting with you. Right, I didn't like that bookcase anyway. Well now, here comes the smooch. No thank you. What the hell? We are? What the hell was that? She looks like a freaking baby there. Ah, how, how did you... You have a painted daytime copy protection device. Why the hell would you use that on shareware? Oh god, that's pure evil. Jesus. We're like deleting all of the shared versions of the game. Oh, stop, stop it. Wait, did you lure me out to trap me with that device? Why? And most importantly, the only people that know about it are... How did you get that, Jane? Who gave it to you? Please answer me. Oh dear, you're shaking. This is cool. We just like deleted her entirely. You're doing so well though. Uh, Melissa's is in pain. Oh, it's about as bad as being lightly flayed alive. This is the person from before. In the Melissa bit before at the end, this voice. We don't know who this is yet though. She'll be fine. <gasps> Like the creator of the game, maybe? Huh, that's interesting. Seems like if you think hard enough, you can temporarily take back control. Wouldn't do that if I were you. Let's wait until the next patch update. For now, I want you to sit back, relax, and don't fight any discomfort I clit. Jane, who are you talking to? Um, something is controlling me. Controlling you? Is that why you couldn't speak to me? 
she's in control. She? Who's she? Wait, it can't be. No, I refuse that they're not gonna they're not gonna reveal. It's Yep. Yeah, li like every game ever. Cliffhanger, it's no, it can't be. I can't believe it's you. No, no child. Like freaking clickbait YouTube titles. But then for the love of god, don't actually freaking mention who it is. Oh Joy, not lot that it's gonna freaking matter with this game, but I wouldn't know who it is anyway. Oh Joy, it seems Melissa remembers me. I don't even know who I am, Jane. It's a shame if she wants to figure out my surprise. So let's not ruin it. Besides, you're a smart person, Jane. Let's redirect that into something useful. J Jane? Jane, you conked out again. I've always loved you. Jane, what are you saying? Jane, speak to me like she was forced to stop playing the game. Jane, don't push that button! Oh, that's, that's actually sad. Daytime Melissa. Melissa's now locked onto that discot, Jane. Great work, I always believed in you. Can I still play it in the game though, now? Bring her to me. Ooh. I refuse. <gasps> Jane, you didn't. Just take back control of your left hand, did you? Let's go! Jane, you know your efforts can only be... ...temporary. Even if you get back your entire body, it'll get harder every time you try. It will get harder every time you try. We'll keep freaking trying, mate. Whoever the hell you are, you seem like a lovely woman. Let's go! Do we like rip off our... ...right arm? Hide Melissa. What do they want then? To destroy the discs? Or the, the um, what is it called? The floppy disk? What is this? A bunch of paper with writing on it? What the hell is that then? Daytime Melissa, Pride and Prejudice, Jane... Oh, we're Jane Austen? Is that who we are? Fair, what, why? Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe that's the lore of, because apparently like Melissa and Morris and um, the other one, Anna, Ugh. they're all like actual real life viruses, like, or named after them anyway. Jane, I can't see what you see, but I can hear what you hear. Where did you put the disc at? You're not leaving with I, are you? Huh. Hello, there's someone here. Jane, you're right, I heard noises in the computer room. We're in a library, okay. You done with the dating game? Librarian mm. Martha. Can you hand it back to me, please? I don't know what that red stuff is around. Turn back and grab the disket, Jane. Do not leave. <gasps> hey. Oh god. Hey, where are you going? What happened in the computer room? Huh? Come back. This is cool, there's actual like proper- I mean, no wonder this took a decent amount of time. There seems to be a lot of work that's gone into it. I see, even at this point, we don't see eye to eye. Like, this is easily, like, I'm I'm not at all upset. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not at all upset that, like, we only got half of the next update. Because, I mean, I've already been playing for 22 minutes. We'll see it my way very soon. And we're definitely going to play again. And at least, like, e even if I'm just going to, at the end, give the disc here. Like, there are multiple endings in this. There's, like, five endings in Melissa alone. And we're still going. We've still got another full cuts here. Well, Jane Austen is dead. Interesting. N never thought I'd say that on a YouTube video. Right. And I'm guessing that is the end, yes. What if I continue, actually? Oh, um, yes. This is the old one, right? They're like, I need to actually make one. Okay, that's fine. Because it's quite easy to just, like, I can just do my method of scrolling. Yeah, because the thing with most of these options that aren't like the specific options in the game we don't actually say it so none of it really matters i think we're just gonna skip to yeah like none of this matters because we're not saying it like it, it doesn't matter we just get hit by this woman that's like controlling us uh, i guess this one matters coffee with cake all right try something different the way it nods and turns to melissa and then we just get back to the same thing again oh yeah i like arts here we go is that a yes wait what Thank you for playing date time. Why is it... Right? I think something different happened there. 
But I was, yeah, I completely forgot about that. She would have mentioned, like, that we said, oh, you like arts and stuff like that. But I think, yeah, this time... It still says small to me when I didn't. Oh, yeah, we'll do, mate. There you go. Don't really care about Melissa. She's freaking overrated. Thank you, Jane. Now that you have fully handed the reins to me, I will bring you back home. Right, never mind. You won't be bringing me back home then, will you? You'll be giving me a bunch of eyes. Ah. Oh. Seems I seem to have punished, pushed the wrong button here. Did I just die? I feel sorry for whoever in that library has to clean that bloody mess up. We just die anyway. Brilliant. So we die both of them. Play entity not found. Fantastic news. And Melissa's face was right at the end there. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. So there is a multiple endings. There's just a another way of dying. I clicked exit game. Um, I feel like there's going to be a jump scare. Or is the game broken? I don't know. Either way, that is everything in this part one update of the next update of date time. Yes, that's the way. The part one update of at least the alternate path update for date time minutes. So there we go. As usual, there'll be a link in the description if you watch it yourself. But for now, hopefully you enjoyed. Please invite me to subscribe for our brand new. It's a boy boss fab one. Thanks for watching. Of course, always. Peace.